Oh, well, listen, we are in the kitchen and Tando's here because we're about to have fun. We are looking for South Africa's next Golden Cloud Baker search and we are looking for those five finalists. We already have three confirmed. There is still two spots open and what we're going to do is Tando is here to show you how to do the ultimate Christmas delicious treat as perhaps an entry inspiration because we still need to fill those final two spots. Now what will happen is the baking duo will be paired with a professional chef and they stand a chance of winning 50,000 rand in cash. So today we're going to do a Christmas smash box so that you can have all the inspiration you need to make sure that your entry stands out from the rest. Tando, I love a smash box. I remember for a friend's birthday ordering one, yeah. putting a voucher inside. She had fun breaking it, but I've never made one. And today's the day. Okay. And it's super easy to make as well. Few steps. Well, we've got some Well, it depends what you want to fill your smash with, right? Exactly. So we've got ginger biscuits going mm. in. So I'm gonna get started on that. I'm just ginger gonna... cookie dough is the best. Yes. Then we're just gonna cream this till it's nice and fluffy. High speed, there we go. And you wanna get it till it's light and fluffy. And of course you are using our golden cloud flour and yes. our, the golden cloud cake flour. It is versatile and it really is perfect for almost any recipe, being it an all-purpose flour. You can also use it to bake your cakes, your scones, your biscuits, your breads, your muffins. You can't go wrong. And Tando is using it for our ginger cookie ginger dough. Cookies. Then I'm gonna go in with some golden syrup and this is gonna make the cookies nice and chewy. So oh. you know a good ginger biscuit is always nice. It's got that chewy like texture that to it. It's the syrup. Oh. Okay. It's the syrup. Adding syrup to your batter always does that. And then I'm going to switch that off. We're looking good there. And then for our dry ingredients, we've got some ginger. We're adding our spices. Cinnamon. And of course the bicarb. Is it just me or is there like a bit of a cinnamon shortage? I had to go to three different stores the other day to try find a little bit. Oh, do you think everyone's just buying it to make gingerbread yeah. cookies? And gingerbread. It's it that is time the of the year. It's that time of the year. So it's definitely going to be... In demand. In demand. Zoe has let you guys know. I okay. struggle to find cinnamon, <laughs> but I eventually did. ASAP. There we go. And then we're going to add this and just fold it all together. And once it's all folded together, we'll be left with our cookie dough. Correct. And then we'll take this, what we have left. Okay. <laughs> Tando is saying what we had left. Mm -hmm. I tasted the cookie dough. I tasted it some more. <laughs> she tasted it. She was I think sure I ate half. Place. She the, the batter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have stomach issues later. I never have stomach issues. I know a good cookie dough when I see one, and this is an excellent one. Yeah. I love this recipe. I already asked the kitchen, please can I take the leftover cookie dough home? <laughs> there you go. It's so, just a weakness of mine. <laughs> Raw dough. Okay. But now we're going to get to the smash component. The smash so we've got our little silicone container. Silicone mold, and then we've got some malted chocolate in here. Okay. So do you want to push those flat? You keep them as is? As is. You can push them flat with the fork. Okay. But once they're done, you can place them in the oven and then they can bake. So just to give context, we're baking these cookies because this is going to go inside our yes. smash component. Okay. Correct. So I'll pop that into the oven. Thank you. And I'm going to get started on the chocolate dough. Okay. Now, what's the secret here? Because clearly you want to make sure it's thick enough yes. to not break when you handle it, but you also don't want it too thick too so that thick. people yeah. mush the living daylight out so of it. So you want to spread it across the mold. So just get it all over. And then sometimes you might need to set the first layer. So set the first ah. layer, and then if you find that it's a bit too thin, then set, set the second layer. And because it's silicone, it will be easy to get it out. To get you it don't out, have to yes. worry about pre-spraying it or anything. And you don't need to temper chocolate or anything like that. You just need to melt the chocolate and then pour it in and place it in the You're fridge. Good to go. Well, that's amazing because we actually used our beacon chocolate, which has been loved by South Africans since 1938. It's also available in a decadent dessert range, which includes your mulfa pudding, your chocolate brownie, and your peppermint tart. And we are, obviously, we used our beacon chocolate Chocolate melted it and Tando is now just making sure our chocolate go. goes everywhere. Sometimes it needs more than one layer. I think Correct. this is quite nice and thick. I nice think we should young. be good with one layer here. But we've got one that is ready, ready made. Ready made. So as you can see, I'm gonna gently turn it around not to handle it too much. Too much. But there this is go. this is a good consistency Correct. in terms of thickness that you want. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put it down like this so I don't mess it. So and then once you're ready to start plating, you can place your little Treats hey, your treat like a heart shape. 
add there our we treats. Go. We add our freshly made cookies that you've there made. We go. And then you simply place your dome on top. And cover it. Please be careful with it. You don't want to do all this hard work and then, <laughs> boom, break it. There we go. And I'm going to grab a rolling pin for you. Okay. Do you want to well, smash? Um, you may have the honors. Have I feel aggression. like you're going to break someone's heart here. I mean, it's, it's the time. I mean, play around with all the <laughs> toppings you want to add into your smash heart. Yeah. We even have some beacon marshmallows, our there heavenly chocolates. Go for it. So Samuel. I'm going to smash it. Okay, she's got ready? anger issues. Go for it. <laughs> no, okay. give it no. more. Give it more. Hi, <laughs> There we there go. You know. <laughs> I thought you were going to give it one big whack. I thought I was strong and then I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. want to be too aggressive, but yeah. there you have it. Look how fun that <laughs> is. And then, as you can see, you have all of your treats yeah. inside. Well, if you want to get your hands on this delicious smash, smash heart, our Christmas smash box, it is available on our website, expressoshow.com. And if you are passionate about baking and believe that you have what it takes to compete in this ultimate baking challenge, it is time to get those entries in. You could be one of the five finalists competing on Espresso for the grand prize of 50,000 Rand in cash, and the winning contestant and chef duo will also be crowned live on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now to enter, bake with Golden Cloud and Beacon, snap a picture and share your bake on social media using that hashtag Golden Baker Search 2022 and tell us why you should be a finalist. You can also WhatsApp your entry to this number 0781020321 and all I'm going to say is good luck.